Hello and welcome to Fox Tech. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to disconnect the Apple Pencil from Notability. If you've ever wanted to know how this works, you're in the right place. Let's get started and clarify a few things about how the Apple Pencil operates with your iPad and specific apps like Notability. First of all, it's important to understand that the Apple Pencil is just an accessory for your iPad. It doesn't connect specifically to one app or another. Instead, it connects to the iPad itself, allowing you to use it across all compatible apps. So when we talk about disconnecting the Apple Pencil from Notability, we're really discussing how to manage its connection to the iPad in general. If you find that the Apple Pencil is interfering with your use of Notability for any reason, there's a simple way to temporarily disable it. Just snap the Apple Pencil onto the side of your iPad. This action not only stores the pencil, but also essentially makes it inactive. While it's connected to the side, the pencil is charging and won't interact with the screen. During this time, you can use your finger, keyboard, or trackpad to navigate and use Notability without the pencil getting in the way. However, if you want to completely stop using the Apple Pencil, you need to disconnect it properly. To do this, open the Settings app on your iPad and go to the Bluetooth section. Here you'll see a list of devices connected to your iPad, including the Apple Pencil. Find the Apple Pencil on this list and tap on the eye icon next to it for more information. From there, simply tap the Forget This Device button. This will disconnect the Apple Pencil from your iPad. Don't worry, this isn't a permanent action. If you ever want to reconnect the Apple Pencil, all you need to do is snap it back onto the side of your iPad, the pairing will happen automatically, and you'll be able to start using the pencil again right away. This makes it easy to switch between using and not using the pencil as needed. It's worth noting that the process slightly differs between the first generation and second generation Apple Pencils. For the first generation Apple Pencil, you'll need to plug it into the iPad's lightning port to reconnect it. But the overall concept remains the same. Disconnecting and reconnecting the pencil is a straightforward process. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Fox Tech. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Peace.